in the, sorry. My name okay. is Blanca Miranda. I was trained in nephrology and I was working in nephrology for, uh, let's say, 13 years. But since, uh, let's say, 12 or 13 years, I'm devoted to transplant coordinator and uh, working in the transplantation field uh, specifically. And not only in uh, kidney transplantation, but in any kind of um, organ and tissue and cell transplantation. And uh, I was in charge of uh, the National Transplantation Organization for eight years, since uh, 1996 until uh, 2004. Mm, uh, your first question is, um, how did the public media, churches, hospitals, etc., react at the beginning? Well, the, the law was passed in Spain in 1979, the first uh, mm, mother text uh, of the transplant uh, statements here in Spain uh, was stated in 1979, and uh, it was very well accepted. I mean, I, I, I must say that uh, uh, patients association, the kidney patients, patients uh, association in Spain worked very close together with the, the uh, authorities in uh, preparing the law. Uh, as well as the um, as the professionals, so uh, the law was a very uh, short one, a very simple one, uh, just stating very basic principles on what should be the uh, criteria for accepting deceased donors, living donors, and the criteria for authorizing centers and uh, for uh, providing uh, the centers to an organizational system to deal with uh, organ uh, procurement and transplantation. Then um, the, 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 the story of Brendeth that was enacted in, uh, in this law and then uh, developed in a royal decree uh, did not have any um, impact, I mean, in the mass media at that time. I mean, the, uh, you must realize that at that time, uh, the, 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 the late uh, 70s, many, many laws were passed in Spain at that time because um, uh, if you remember, maybe you don't remember, the story of Spain uh, was changed uh, drastically in 75. Uh, Franco, the former dictator, died, and then uh, 76, the, uh, the democracy was restored in, uh, in Spain, and then uh, hundreds of laws and uh, statements needed to be developed at that time. So uh, transplantation law was one more in uh, hundreds of laws. So um, you must uh, put the things in the context and then um, maybe it was not so important for our life at that time. Uh, things were so quick at that time, uh, happened so, I mean, uh, everything was, went so fast. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you, you didn't have the time to realize that uh, uh, now we have this other, uh, next, let's say, every, uh, every um, uh, national uh, organizational systems, every uh, democratic um, uh, systems of working uh, uh, were put in place at that time. The parties, the elections, the constitution, uh, so big events at uh, so mm, impressive uh, uh, speed of, uh, of development that uh, really the transplantation law passed. Well, it passed. Mm. And then transplants started to, uh, at the same time, uh, the general health law was passed, the, the organization of the life of the hospitals in a different way, public health system. So everything was mixed. Uh, there was no simple, uh, a simple law or a simple thing in which uh, the government at that time was occupied, but uh, in so many things that uh, and the, the, the normal life and the social life was uh, impacted by, by so many things that really mm, there were no big impact on transportation exactly no, or, or the transportation on mass media or on the society so it was well like any other um, activity in our health uh, system uh, it became normal to have transplants or to have donors in the hospitals in some hospitals etc so from 1997 until 1987, yes, um, things were going ahead slowly, but well, at the time in which uh, everything in public health system was reorganized, every, uh, well, many things happened at that time. So, well, things in transportation were, were 
in parallel with other developments at that time. Then in the uh, late 80s, uh, the uh, patient association that were involved in the preparation of the legal texts and very active in what is the, the, the care of the kidney patients uh, were uh, able to pass a claim to the ombudsman stating that the uh, transplantation rates in Spain were not so good, were not good enough, uh, were not uh, comparable with other uh, countries, other European countries, and uh, they claimed because they thought that the government was not doing exactly everything possible in promoting organ donation and organ transplantation, and they wanted the government to do um, other things to promote organ donation and organ transplantation. So the ombudsman accepted the claim of the uh, patient association, and uh, the government was then um, obliged to uh, do something. That was in 1988-89, and then at that time the government decided to uh, create this uh, organization, the National Organization of, Tra of Transplants, to give uh, enough budget, enough people working on, uh, on this organization, and then several functions to be developed by this uh, organism. Uh, making the, the point and the effort on organ donation and procurement. The difference of other organizations in the world that were developed at the beginning to allocate organs <coughs> following the HLA system, like okay. Eurotransplants or French transplants or the, or the former UNOS, were organizations that were, in principle, uh, were set up to uh, to uh, allocate organs, to manage the waiting list, and to uh, organize this kind of things, statistics, and so on. We were in charge of allocation of organs, but mainly we were in charge of promoting organ donation. That was the main problem. So, at this point, at this, at, at this point, I have to state that this was this this made the difference between the National Organization of Transplants in Spain and other organizations. I mean, we were we we were born with other. Um, aims or with other main aims. So we have to allocate organs, but we mainly have to promote organ procurement. For, from the very beginning, we realized that without any organs uh, procured, we, we, we would not have any organ to allocate. And uh, on the other hand, uh, another difference at that time was to realize that uh, donation was should uh, be taken into account li like any other medical activity in the hospital. Organ donation is a medical activity. The donor was a former patient, now is a dead pe person, but it's a medical activity. It needs to be evaluated from the medical point of view. It needs to be managed from the medical point of view. Procurement is a surgical activity. Transplantation is a surgical activity. So everything don related to donation and transplantation is a medical activity. So forget this social, uh, not, not forget, but uh, don't put the emphasis on the social side of the donation, which is very important, of course, at the beginning, but do not forget that the medical activity should be taken into account. We do not, I mean, we cannot proceed only with a very beautiful and uh, very nice transplantation units with big uh, budgets, with uh, marvelous and prepared surgeons. If they do not have any organ, they will not go further. So, um, mm, Medica donation is medical activity, takes place in the hospitals, needs specific budget, needs specific people, and needs specific training for these people. And this was another difference between the uh, Spanish system at that time and other organizations at that time. So and then uh, from the very beginning the hospitals get, could get the budget for the donation. It is simple and easy if you have, if you have only two, three donors per year to allocate the budget of these donors into the general budget of the hospital. But when you get 50, 60 donors per year, then things are not so easy. And then uh, you need, and, and the donor is something that costs. I mean, the evaluation, the management, the IC bed, the surgical procedure. And then costs not only money, but costs uh, human efforts. And then if you use the people that is on duty in the hospital to procure organs, those people cannot proceed with the normal surgery of the hospital or the normal emergency room of the hospital. So you need people specifically on call for organ donation, specifically paid uh, to be on call for the uh, processes of organ donation. You need not to interfere with the normal 